June is PTSD Awareness Month and the mental challenges affect many, including the military and first responders. Our Be Mindful correspondent Avery Martinez has details on what one organization in particular is trying to do to support first responders beyond a critical incident. He is live in the studio with the latest. Avery. Well, the Code 9 project offers support nationwide and co-founder Brandley Baker tells me that the focus is on giving them a network and tools to handle post-traumatic stress that's just a part of their job. We treat our houses and our cars better than we do our own human bodies. And these vehicles right here are what we're using to serve our country and our communities. How come we're not approaching this vehicle in the same perspective? Baker says PTSD is just one of the mental health impacts of first responder and military work. After a time, the constant stress can take a toll on their mental health. By providing mental support 24 hours a day, Code 9 hopes to prevent and teach responders how to handle PTSD. With the right guidance and training, Baker hopes more heroes can cope with the mental impact of their job. The National Center for PTSD believes 6% of the U.S. population has had PTSD at some point. The project offers commander training, suggestion for families, and anonymous meetings for support. Baker says her organization refers to the mental challenges as post-traumatic stress. Say PTS because it not only does it encompass the injury component for, for casualty of serving our community and our country, uh, but it also encompasses what you are experiencing and how, if unchecked, it leads to the injury. One of the key aspects of that program is doing preventative maintenance, the support available nationwide. Baker tells me first responders and soldiers shouldn't wait for a breakdown to get mental help. They should start looking for support as soon as they feel symptoms. For ABC7, I'm your Be Mindful reporter, Avery Martinez. All right, Avery, thank you. Thanks.